Yep. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four. Okay. Right. Have a seat. Thank you. You've been shot too. I don't think so, no. Oh, no, that's a shame. Not having me in the video. <coughs> Be nice. Right. Um, what, what do you feel about the character you're playing? How do you feel then? Um, I mean, is he like you in any way? Yeah, I think he's just... Um, I really haven't worked terribly hard on making any character out of him, really, <laughs> because he's so has so little to say that really one just has to say the lines efficiently without lumbering it with excess baggage of character. I mean, he's just got certain things to do in the plot. He just asks questions. So there isn't really enough time to evolve a character. If he did, it would be a waste of time because there isn't the space to get into it. And it's not about him anyway. Yeah, has it developed over the four days? No. Not at all. No. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so really, it's just it's like a holiday for you, really. Isn't it? Completely and utterly. <laughs> well, the thing is, some things you look at and you say, well, that demands an awful lot of uh, mental work and preparation beforehand. But with this, I mean, I only got the script when I arrived because uh -huh. I've been away filming in Ireland. So I, uh, I just got it when I got here. And I read it and I knew that one just had to be very straightforward with it. Mm -hmm. Very direct, very straightforward. And not lumber it with anything that it didn't need. So did you sort of think, um, well, when it was like it was, a script as you arrived, and do you think it was a bit of a, a joke really or not? Or do you take it seriously? Oh no, I took it seriously, but that's one of the decisions you make. Um, when you look at any script, is to decide what it needs. Mm. Uh, and when I looked at this, I felt that what it needed was as little extraneous information as possible from my point of view as an actor. That it was important for me just to say what had to be said without giving it anything that um, would get in the way. So, um, so it's been quite easy, really. Yeah. But, I mean, if it had been, if the part had been different, then it would have demanded a lot more work. So it has been, you know, a complete holiday, <laughs> really. But I mean, if the, as I say, if the part was different, but it wouldn't have been because then I would have done more work on the character. Yeah. I mean, really, he's only in it for about 30 seconds or something. So I mean, this, what can you do in that amount of time? Have so a hump. <laughs> what's the difference between working like this and working professionally? Apart from the fact that you haven't got a lot to say. Um, I think size, really. <coughs> Obviously, on a, on a professional production, there are a lot more people around. There's a lot more time. There's a lot more care taken over makeup, hair, art direction, all of those things. Um, but basically, the kernel, the the centre of any working unit is the same as the centre of this working unit, mm -hmm. in the director, cameraman, etc, etc. So the, the difference is just really a, a scale thing, and a financial thing. Um, it? Was it a professional uh, atmosphere? I thought it was excellent. I mean, I've just come from a, a, a production in Ireland, which is costing millions of pounds, and this is infinitely better organised. <laughs> it really is. Um, and I would like to see to have worked with the students more. Yeah. You know, I would like to have uh, discussed the script with the students or, or, or seen them working at the camera more or, you know, or perhaps directing. I would like to have seen more of that. And I think, in a sense, the students haven't really. Been able to see what actors can do um, because they haven't been involved in, for instance, us going over the lines and trying to change them and altering them and um, using our experience to try and um, make the script e easier to run. Mm. I kind of feel that, you know, I, I feel sort of slightly separated from the students. Yeah. Um, but obviously when one is getting on with doing the production, that inevitably happens. But I would have liked to 
uh, work for some more. So do you feel it's a worthwhile experience for the students then, doing this sort of thing? I think so. I, mean, I don't know what they do in the rest of the course. So I don't know how this compares with um, what they're doing the rest of the year. I think certainly it's worthwhile to come out and to have to hobble all over rocks. And I mean, all of that stuff, no matter what you were doing, even if it was something really expensive film, you'd still have to hobble all over those rocks. You'd still have to find setups. You'd still have to be in cramped conditions. And I think that's really good that they're learning about the discomfort <laughs> of filming. Um, and also how uh, very beautiful shots can be made out of very small and ordinary things. Um, yes, I, I think that it is useful for them. I would like to see them, as I say, more involved in the actual creative input. But that, I imagine, is what you do in the rest of the course. Um, but I think more of that would have been useful. So, have you enjoyed it? Very, very much. Well, it's been a holiday. I mean, <laughs> come down here for four days and, you know, it takes you half an hour to learn the lines. And uh, everybody's been really, really nice. Um, except for Rick. And, uh, it's just been lovely. I didn't mean that, Rick. Rick's been lovely. Uh, it's been really, really nice. I have enjoyed it very much. That's about it. That's about it. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, thank you all very much. Thank Great. you. Thanks. Right.